it's Wolfie Chan, and I'm back with another manga review. And this manga is Happy Marriage. Uh, this one I kind of fell in love with a couple years ago, and I have all of the episodes, like, not episodes, but all of the volumes on my Kindle because I love them so much. I have every one of them, and it goes up to 10. So if you kind of like a long series, this is a good one. And this is a lot of romance. I know, guys, ah, romance. It's got a good story, though. I promise, it's not bad. So it starts off with my, with our main character, Chiwa. And she's basically works in this business, or, you know, in this business building. And she's just kind of data entry. She's just trying to make sure everything's good. And she's not really in dating anybody because her whole family's kind of broke. And so to make sure that her father, because she lives with him, the house is being paid off and that they can basically eat every day. She has to do two jobs, which she does data entry more in the morning and she's a hostess more at night. And so she's not into relationships at all. Because she's a hostess. Guys are hitting on you while you're drunk and you're serving them alcohol. I so understand why you would not want to date anybody after that. So you find out that her family was rich at one point in time. But that was a while ago. And it was, his, it was her grandmother. And she's no longer rich. And a lot of stuff happened. Uh, but you find out that the big CEO used to be the servant of her grandmother's. And because they stopped being of that, and she, you know, moved on with her life, he moved on to being a CEO of this big company. And he now has a grandson who's 28 years old. His name's Akoto. And he wants her grandkid, which is Chiwa, and his grandson, Hokoto, to marry. And that is when he will give the business to Hokoto, and he could be the CEO and make all the decisions. But the family is very big. Very big. And so she's like, because she gets brought into this, she doesn't understand it. And it's like, you marry him, you want for nothing, and I will be so happy because now my mistress, part of her family, like, he has his big googly eyes and stuff. And Hakoto is like, yeah, let's do it. And she's like, uh, uh, we'll pay for all your debt. Because the chairman then riddles off, like, we'll pay all your debt. The house will be paid off. You don't have to worry about nothing. Just sign these marriage papers. Hakoto, like, automatically, like, okay, your turn. And she's like, ah, okay. And then they're married. Nothing big, nothing showy. And then she lives with them, finds out he's basically a slob. No offense, guys. When you live alone, you can care less about taking care of the house. Can't blame you. But she's just like a neat freak. And like the first couple days, she goes nuts. Cleans the whole house and all this stuff. Lives in a different room. And is trying to take care of him. And you find out that he's really business oriented. She's laid back, wants to enjoy stuff. And the thing is, they first meet, funny enough, when she's being part of the host thing, and he basically then criticizes her for working as a hostess, which he then pours the drink all over his face. Then they get married, right? Funny. <laughs> and so, throughout this story, they kind of go through a love-hate relationship. They really do. But they slowly work it out. She finds out more about him and that um, his father, which is the son of the chairman, basically kind of had an affair with his wife with his mom and they brought about a child whereas his marriage could not produce a kid so you find out that you know Hokoto basically is now his son and when she dies which there's a lot of speculation that she might have gotten hit on purpose so that Hokoto would move in with the dad there's a lot of it and they don't fully tell you if it was a thing or not, but they basically are just like, done, moving on. And so he's been trying to work out to be part of this big family, which nobody really wants him to be. And you find out a lot of the aunts and a lot of uncles could give less. 
and that you being part of this, they were like, nope, done. We don't even want you. And he's trying to be part of this. And she's trying to understand that this is a really messed up family and that she, after a while, she does fall in love with him. He does have great attributes and he basically loves her. And they do not have Bound Trick and Wow Wow until like volume 8? volume seven like it's a while before they even do that and she's a v card holder so he doesn't he's like oh well wow, that's interesting she's like mm. and they go through a lot of stuff which she then after she does bound trick along falls in love with him and wants to be with him basically tell goes up to their house and tells them to middle finger you guys are bunch of mean people and that he shouldn't be even dealing with you guys. He's a great guy. All he wants to be is a part of your family and be a part of something, but because you guys don't want to, he has to deal with all of this. And I don't like any of you. And it's like insolent girl and the chairman's like, hey, 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 no. And I'm like, uh oh. And he goes, are you sure about this? Like, yes. And if it makes me not have to be married to him anymore to show you guys this, then so be it. And they get a divorce at that point in time. She, she tries she tries to get a divorce like a couple times through this whole manga. And the last time she basically does and moves back in with her father and her father's like, you're gonna be, you know, a lot of people are gonna be like, she's single. She, she was through a divorce. Like, who would ever want that? And she's like, Look, I just want you to be taken care of, everything's taken care of, and I just, I want him to be happy, and I don't know if he was happy with me. And guess what, Hakoto being, he's very headstrong, like, if he doesn't get it right, he tries to get it right kind of person. And, you know, being through all of this stuff, through ten volumes, Hakoto then comes back to her and goes, you know, why'd you run off, why do you want this divorce, all this stuff. And he, if I remember right, he changes his name to his mother's name. At volume 10, basically asks her to marry her again. And she goes, this is where my, you know, my grandmother used to watch this stuff. And I'd always wondered about that. Uh, and this is the garden that she had. And he's like, I really love for you and I really care for you. And I'm really worried about you. And I really want to be with you. Will you marry me? And she's just, she's all sad because she does love him by volume 10. By volume 10, she does love him and basically goes to yes. And he basically picks up his mother's name, quits that business because he decided that he was going to be the chairman, which then he, there was a travel agency that wasn't going well. So he'd run that and that was an accomplishment. But he basically goes, and I'm done with you guys. And... So he decides that he's just going to be a small-time business owner, which I can't remember which business. I think he makes a small travel agency himself. And that's kind of where their happy life begins. Um, so it's a really sweet story. I love it. I got all ten volumes of it. Yeah, maybe more girly. I know, guys, I know. I can already feel like it's a girly kind of thing. I know. But, but, but. This is amazing. It's got a great story, and yes, there's some bound trick along the way. So, you know. So, if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave a comment section below. Have you read this? Do you have a favorite character? I, I kind of like Hikoto. I kind of do. <laughs> like, I love Chiwa, but she's always like, Ah, oh, you! And then Hikoto's like, Meh. Won't go eat. And she's like, no, maybe. Like, it's so, I love it. <laughs> and definitely subscribe, because I do make videos every day of either manga or anime or my special Movie Monday. And I do hope you've been having a wonderful, wonderful day. Eh, my, my day's just full of clouds. Wolfie-chan, out. Bye, guys.